Alrighty guys, good afternoon. Madman Mandela coming at you from the Garden of the Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Hope you're all doing well. And we've got five consoles that we're going to stream and they're going to be shipped off uh, this afternoon. Alright, so you're going to be getting your tracking numbers and all that crap in your email. Okay, and I got a whole bunch more I got to build, so you know I'm on it. Anyway, alright. Uh, all these are up on Alliance servers. Of course, they all have college football revamp version 19 on it, latest edition. And uh, they have uh, they have GTA plugins, of course. Uh, your mod menus, Buffington Mod Loader, Purge, and then you have uh, BO2, MW3, Ghost, Advanced Warfare, Off Hosts, a one-year part and labor warranty. And Mr. Malachi Leonard, I'm going to start it off with uh, his. His is a send-in, and it was a uh, Jasper. And uh, this one was a pain in the ass. RGH, it did not want RGH 3.0 at all. Okay, so I had to do RGH 1.2 on it with a chip. All right. So anyway. You got it to worry. It's just really strange because most of the time I don't have a problem, but this one here was just, it figures you would send me one in that was challenging, okay? But that's okay, though. I like a challenge. So anyway, we're going to boot it up. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to swap on over to the capture card here, okay? And hopefully with the same amount of luck it'll boot, which it did. All right, so as you can see, the boot time is comparable to RGH 3.0. It's just that it's using a chip because 3.0 would not boot at all on this thing, at all, period. No matter which way I wired it, new way, old way, every which way, uh -uh. So, anyway, we're good to go, though. Got it good? Okay. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to check this thing out here. We're going to go to Xbox 360, start off with the dashboard. This is a 160 gig. So, you got Advanced Warfare, Battlefields on there, your Call of Duty's on there, uh, College Troops 2K, Grand Theft Auto 5, Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, Minecraft, uh, NCAA Basketball 10, College Football Revamp Version 19, and back to the dashboard. Xbox Live Arcade, 23 titles of Xbox Live Arcade. You have your homebrew section where your tools reside. You have a classic game, Tony Hawk's Underground 2. And then, of course, you have your indie games. You have Trailer Park King and Voice Changer 360. And then you have your emulators. You got Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, Super Nintendo, and Nintendo back to Game Boy Advance. Now, we'll go ahead. We'll hit the dashboard and make sure she's right and tighten up on the network. We're going to get her might and, uh, menu uh, pop up. This it's a free version. There's 24 games on here. Okay, so and here we are. We're up. We're online. We are live. Our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD. We have X community on this thing. X community is a matchmaking service. Okay, so you will see when you click on that that there's a bunch of ses sessions going on. You got 13 of them. So you got the, a lot of BO2, regular uh, regular Black Ops. You got Modern Warfare 2. You got three sessions of Modern Warfare 2. Left for Dead. Modern Warfare 3. You know, so there's all kind of... Leisure Suit Larry. Oh, my God. I haven't seen that one in ages. Holy... Shit. That's awesome. Okay. Red Dead Redemption, so on and so forth. Then you got a bunch of people online, okay? So, as you can see, there's 52 people online. And to the right is their prospective servers. To the left is their username. You can join them in online sessions if they are online and playing. All right. And as you can see, there is a bunch of people online. A bunch of people online. So there you have it, okay? A lot of them playing NCAA fo Football 14. Yeah, I wonder why. Okay, and then of course you have your settings. You have enable features, custom matchmaking, force modded matchmaking, custom HUD button. Change your online status, change your username, and save your settings. All right, now we're going to go back here. And I'm going to go to uh, our off hosts. Now, these are cheats here. Okay, you got Advanced Warfare, Ghost, BO2, and MW3. To disable, hit A. To enable, hit A. Very easy. Okay, now when you're uh, loading a game like Advanced Warfare, and you want to use the off host, you just leave it enabled. Okay, now if you want to use Mitin's plugins, they're, 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 um, they're mod menus, then all you have to do is disable the cheat for Advanced Warfare. Okay, and then when it loads Advanced Warfare, just hit load. You know, when it comes up, do you wish to load Mitin menu? You do. And then you're playing with Mitin cheats. Okay, so needless to say, there you go. Very simple. One at a time, because if you try to load both of them at the same time, the X input, it's basically the same. So what will happen is it'll select in one and deselect in another. All right. So, you know, you have a mess on there. All right. So that's why I'm saying one menu at a time. Okay. So we're going to bring this back home, the Xbox home. And there you have it. Malachi, thank you for your business. I greatly do appreciate it. We're shipping it off this afternoon. You'll have it in two to three business days. Remember, you're going to have to sign for this crazy thing. Okay. So just a warning. You know, you're going to have to sign for it. All right. So. Needless to say, there you go. Thank you so much for your business. I greatly do appreciate it, all right? I cleaned it up, by the way. I cleaned up the case on it, put a new drive belt on it, so the drive works nice and smooth now. Everything has all pretty much been 
revamped on it. As you can see, the case is, it looks way better than what you sent me. Okay, so there you go, brother. All right, thank you again for your business. I greatly do appreciate it. All right, now we're going to say goodbye to Malachi here. See you later, Malachi. All right, unplug this mess, unplug this mess, get rid of this, throw that over there. There you have it. Okay, now, I'm going to go ahead here. Okay, Brian, period. <laughs> Honestly, that's his username, Brian, period. That's what he bought it under. Brian, this one is yours. 320 gig, slim model, okay? This is RGH 3.0. This one is a chipless install, all right? So we're going to go ahead here. I'm going to plug this mess in. We're going to fire this bitch up, and we're going to see how this thing runs, okay? Now, this is a 320 gig, so there's a lot more on it than the 160, of course, okay? That dictates what size, where, how, and who. Okay, and how many games you can slam on it and all that happy nonsense. Okay, so we're booting up. We're getting our, we're going to get our uh, notification from our server, letting us know that it's online live. And then we're going to boot into Aurora. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to check this thing out. Okay, so here you are. And there's 72 titles on this thing, by the way. Okay, now there we go. Building the profile, good deal. Okay, so now let's check this thing out. Start off at the dashboard, okay? Battlefields, Borderlands, Bulletstorm, Call of Duty, more Call of Duties at the Yin Yang. Um, <laughs> excuse me. College Hoops 2K8, your Gears of War series, Grand Theft Auto series, Halo, Mass Effect trilogy, Minecraft, Modern Warfare 3, NCAA Basketball 10, College Football Revamped, version 19, latest edition, Red Dead Redemption, Saints Row, and of course back to the dashboard. Xbox Live Arcade, 25 titles of Xbox Live Arcade on this thing. And then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. Then you have a classic game, Midnight Club 3, Dub Edition. Then you have your indie games on there, Trailer Park King, and, of course, Voice Changer 360. You have your emulators on there, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Mayhem, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, back to Game Boy Advance. And we're back to show all. Now, okay, needless to say, all right, we'll go ahead here. Let me go to Xbox. It's a heck of a lot easier that way. All right, we'll go back to the dashboard here. We'll make sure that she's right and tighten up on her network. All right, we should get our Might and uh, Placard pop up there. Any second now. There we are. Good deal. Sounds like a plan, Stan. And we're up. We're online. We are live. Our beautiful eyeball-pleasing HUD. X community. And our cheats. Disable A. Enable A. Very easy. Bring this back to Xbox Home. And there you have it. Brian, thank you for your business, man. I greatly do appreciate it. Shipping it off this afternoon. You'll have it in two to three business days. And remember, you do have to sign for this crazy thing. All right, just to let you know. And again, thank you so much for your business. I greatly do appreciate it. One other thing I want to hit on while I'm getting this other console here is to watch the startup setup video that I send to you in your email along with this video. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is you're going to sit at the Xbox 360 logo forever. Okay, literally forever. It's got to be set up on your network first. Must be. Okay, so, for the love of God, watch that video. It is very important. Before you power it on for the first time. After you watch it and you set it up on your network, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Alright, but also there is a lot of stuff on that startup setup video. It explains a lot of things about this console, including how to manipulate the file system and all that, which you're going to need to know anyway. So please watch the whole video, okay? It's very informative, and it will help you on your quest for modding on an Xbox 360. All right, this one here, Mr. Luke Robinson, okay? Luke went ahead. He purchased the console off the website from us. Here it is. It's all done. It's 320 gig. I'm going to fire it up. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to swap over to the capture card right here. And we're booting up, and there we are. Life is grand. Okay, now we're going to boot into Aurora. We're going to get our notification from our server, letting us know that it's online and live. And then we're going to go through this thing. So work with me here, okay, guys? As I said, it's been, a, it's been a busy past two weeks. It's been crazy. Plus, it didn't help that I had to go to Georgia. So, you know, but it is what it is. What are you going to do, okay? So anyway, all righty. Now we're loading our titles now. That's a network connection. Why it's loading slowly. I don't understand that, but, they, you know, hey, with the network, it's been crazy lately. All right, now, all right, start off at the uh, dashboard right here, okay? 
And you got your Battlefields, your Bulletstorm, your Borderlands, your Call of Duties on there, your Call of Troops 2K8, Gears of War series, Grand Theft Auto series, Halo, Mass Effect Trilogy, Minecraft, NCAA Basketball 10, of course, College Football Revamped, okay, latest edition, and back to the dashboard. Xbox Live Arcade, 25 titles of Xbox Live Arcade. Your homebrew section where your tools reside. Your classic game, okay. And, of course, your indie games, all right, Trailer Park King and Voice Changer 360. And then, of course, your emulators, Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, back to Game Boy Advance. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to hit the dashboard, make sure she's right and tight up on the network. And we should get our might and uh, placard pop up there any second. There we are. Good deal. All right. Bypass the sign in. Oh, we're going to get an error. There it is. <laughs> of course. So when you get that, just go to settings, go to system, go to network settings. Okay. Click on your Wi Fi and test the Xbox Live connection. Now, if that doesn't work, there's also a setting in Dash Launch that you have to look at, which is XHTTP. Okay. Or Xbox Live or Xbox Strong. And I'll show you what that is, just so you know, okay? No big deal. Anyway, we should get check marks across the board right here. All right, here we are, and we should pop up right about now. Yep, there you go. All right, so we are connected. Life is good. Now, we'll go ahead here. Let's see if we uh, get the... Yep, and here we are. We're up, we're online, we're live. When the center of square is black, that means you're not on live, okay? You're on, you're on live now, so there you go. Hitting the guide button, of course, okay, you have X community, and then you have our cheats, disable A, enable A, very easy. Bring this back to Xbox Home, that's going to take us back home. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about also with XHTTP, all right, just so you know, okay. What we do is, is if you have a problem where it's not connecting to Xbox Live, I want you to go over to the homebrew section right here. I want you to go into Dash Launch, okay, click on Dash Launch, it'll load, then hit LB, okay. And let's see here. We'll go down to network. All right, now, these three right here. If any of them are green, turn them red, okay? All right, just by hitting A. See, it'll turn it green, and then it'll turn it red, okay? Make sure that they're red. Then hit RB, bring it down to HDD, X to save it, B to back out, and you too will be connected to Xbox Live, okay? The problem is XHTTP. It messes with the protocol for Xbox Live, of course, so therefore that's the reason why I'm connect, okay? So make sure all of those are red, okay? So anyway, Luke, thank you so much for your business. I greatly do appreciate it. All right, we're shipping it off this afternoon. You'll have, you'll have your tracking number, and of course, you have to sign for this thing. You'll get it in two to three business days. Thank you very much for your business. It is greatly appreciated. All right, now, we're going to say goodbye to Luke, okay? And what I'm going to do here, let's see here. Two more to go. Now, these are one terabyte monsters, okay? Mr. Chandler Cordell, okay? Now, hopefully I, um, I did his last name right, I hope, okay? I'm going to plug him in here. And then what we're going to do, we're going to plug that in there, okay? And hopefully, with an amazing amount of luck, this thing will work, okay? Now, I'm going to plug this in, okay? And we're going to power it on, all right? Now, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to swap out to the Elgato card here. And of course, system booted. Life is grand. Let's give it a second. Sometimes my Elgato is just like really slow for some reason. <laughs> but then again, it's been around a while. So, got to give it a break. All right. Now we're going to boot up. We're going to get our notification from our server letting us know that it's online live. And then we're going to boot into Aurora. Okay. And this thing has got a ton of games on it. Okay. As you can see, there's 302. Okay. So, we're loading them. Now we're going to make it into Aurora. Okay. And life is grand. Okay. Now we booted into the Xbox 360 uh, folder first off. So let's check it out, shall we? Okay. So start off with the dashboard. You got your battlefields on there. You got Call of Duty. You got the yin yang on there. You got your Kyle Troops 2K, Crisis 2. You got Dragon Ball, Raging Blasts. So you can play with your Dragon Balls or whatever. Defines, Dirt. Then you got Dragon Ball Z, more screaming mother freaker from hell that looks like he's about ready to have a conniption or whatever, or blow or, or an aneurysm, actually, okay? Then you got Driver, you got MMA, there's something for everybody on this thing. You got your Fable series, Fast and Furious, Fight Night, Gears of War series, Guitar Hero, all the Grand Theft Auto series, every single one of them. Um, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock, you got your Halo series on there, Hitman, Kane and Lynch, more Kane and Lynch, 
your Madden, you got your Mass Effect trilogy, Medal of Honor, NBA 2K17, NBA Jam. Of course, you got College Football Revamped version 19 on there, latest edition. Okay, Need for Speed Most Wanted, PGR4 Pop Cap Collection, which is Plants vs. Zombies. There, there's no artwork for it yet, but we're working on it. Red Dead Redemption, okay, Resident Evil 6, Saints Row, your Saw series, uh, Shift 2 Unleashed, Skyrim. You got, a, you got some wrestling on there, Sonic, you got Ultimate, uh, you got Test Drive, you got Sims 3, Titanfall, TNA Impact, Ghost Recon, Tomb Raider, UFC 3, Ultimate um, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom, Warface, Wheelman, Wolfenstein, bunch more wrestling on there for you, alright? And of course, back to the dashboard. Xbox Live Arcade, you got 121 titles of Xbox Live Arcade on there. So there is a ton of stuff on there, okay? That you can play, and I mean, if you get bored with the Xbox games, well, here's some Xbox Live for you, okay? A whole bunch of them, and then some, all right? So, 121 titles to be exact. That's a lot of stuff on there, okay, for Xbox Live. Now, your homebrew section, where your tools reside, okay? So, the, the, here's where you can really screw up your console if you don't know what you're doing, okay? Stay away from that, and stay away from that if you don't know what you're doing, okay? That's all I got to say. Then, of course, you got classic games on there. you got 45 classic games, 45 uh, Xbox original games on there, okay, that you can play that work. All right, I am going to tell you this. You have to run them in bypass mode. Now, some of them have artwork. Some of them don't, all right? We're working on artwork for Aurora to try and bring this up to where we have the title, uh, the, 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 uh, the update artwork on it and all that kind of good stuff. Um, <clears throat> anyway, needless to say, you got to play these in bypass mode. I explained that in the startup setup video. Please watch that video. Okay? Otherwise, if you don't, what will happen is, is you will get a black screen when you try to start one of them up. Okay? It has to run in bypass mode. All right? And then, of course, you have indie games on here. You got Fuck Em in a Trailer Park. And then, of course, your Xbox 360 Rape Kit. Then you got Pay Child Support Twice. And the Fuck Em in the Cleavage. Okay? So there you go. All right? Lots of fun on there. Emulators, okay? You got a ton of emulators on there. You got Super Nintendo, Nintendo Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, and then you do have PlayStation on there as well. Back to Super Nintendo, all right? Now, we'll go ahead. We'll hit the dashboard. Make sure she's right and tight up on the network. We're going to get our Mighton uh, message box. Come on, Mighton. There you are. Okay, good deal. Now, bypass the sign, and of course, we're going to get an error. Okay, there you go. As usual. Go over here, system, go to network, go to settings, and then just test the Xbox Live connection. It ain't no big deal. All right? Just, it is what it is. So, needless to say, as I said, we'll go, we'll check mark this off. We'll make sure everything is right and tight on here. So then we'll go to internet. Come on, you stupid thing. Hurry up. Don't play with me. I'll hurt you. Like ten times. All right. And here we are. Okay, and we're on Xbox Live. Life is good. Let's bring it back here. Let's make sure. Yep, she's up and she's online. She's live. Our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD. Of course, with X community. And then our cheats. Disable A, enable A. Bring it back to Xbox Home. And there you have it. Chandler, thank you so much for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad I could build it for you. Shipping it off this afternoon. You'll have your tracking number and all that crap in your, in your email. As well as a link to this video and a link to the startup setup video, which I have to remind everybody to watch before they power this thing on. So, thank you once again. Greatly do appreciate it, brother. All right. Well, one more here. Okay. And then I got a whole bunch more I got to build. That's all I do. <laughs> all right. Mr. Baron McFadden. Excuse me. Got a little bit of a cold going on here. All right. <clears throat> now, Baron ordered a console off the website from us. It's a one terabyte RGA 3.0. We're going to fire it up. I'm going to go ahead and we'll swap on over the capture card right here. Okay. And there we are. And the system booted. Give the Elgato a second. It's got to catch up. There it is. Okay. Now, we're going to boot up. We're going to boot into Aurora. We're going to get our uh, notification letting us know that it's online and live, all that happy nonsense. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go through this thing. And this is also a one terabyte monster. Okay, so there is a lot of stuff on this thing. All right, got it. Good. Okay. And here we are. And now we are loading the titles. 
Yes. Quickly. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you got to love it. All right. Now, there's 302 titles on this thing. Okay. So, there's a lot of stuff, as I said. All right. Now, here we are. Okay. Start off at the dashboard. We'll work our way through. We got the same stuff here. Battlefields on there. Bad company. Call of Duty. Okay. Call Troops 2K. Crisis 2. Dragon Ball. Raging Blast 2. Defines Dirt. Dirt, dirt 2. New Dragon Ball Z, of course, Driver MMA, Fable Series, Fast and Furious, of course, you got Fight Night Champion, you got your Gears of War Series, you got your uh, Guitar Hero, you got the Grand Theft Auto, more Guitar Hero, of course, Halo Series, Hitman, Kane and Lynch, yep, Madden, Mass Effect Trilogy, Midnight Club, Minecraft, NBA 2K17, NBA Jam, and of course, College Football Revamped, all right, version 19, Need for Speed Most Wanted, PGR 4 Pop Cap Collection, uh, your Saw Series Shift, your, uh, let's see here, Sonic Unleashed, your Ultimate, and then Test Drive, Titanfall, TNA Impact, UFC 3, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom, Wheelman, Wolfenstein, Wrestling, and pretty much there you go. Alright, now, we'll check out Xbox Live Arcade. Like I said, 121 titles of Xbox Live Arcade on this thing from Soul Calibur on up to Shrek and Roll and Snoopy Flying Ace and, and Booger Dude and all that kind of good stuff. It's all on here, okay? Including Goat, Goat Simulator, all right? So, like I said, you got a ton of stuff that you can choose from on this thing, all right? Pretty much all good to go. And then we have our homebrew section this is where our tools reside. Okay, and then of course we have our classic games on there. And remember, these are original Xbox games. You have to play them in bypass mode. So make sure that you uh, understand what bypass mode is by watching the startup setup video that I sent to you, along with the link to this video. Okay, and then you have your indie games on here. Okay, and like I said, you got some really racy games on there, including cleavage and, and all kinds of good stuff. That's bad. You don't want to do that. Okay, that's just no. Okay. That that, that 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 that's that's a fun killer right there okay it's fun making them but brother or brother man when you got to pay for them it's a totally different animal okay so so kids keep away from that okay all right wear a condom something anything okay <laughs> and then you can go after something like this because when it looks like that it's like no nah, i don't think so all right so anyway there you go all right now we'll go ahead here emulators okay you got game boy advance sega main super nintendo uh, your PlayStation game, you know, so on and so forth. A whole bunch of emulators on there. And we'll go back to Xbox 360. We'll hit the dashboard. Matricia's up right and tight. Which it should be. Any day now. There we are. Okay. And we're up. We're online. We are live. Our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD, of course, for the next community. And our cheats. Disable A. Enable A. Very easy. Box home. Everything I said in the previous uh, consoles applies to this one. They all run the same way, pretty much, unless you change plugins and everything. And then things, some things do happen, you know. I mean, so be careful what plugins you put in a dash launch, okay, guys. Make sure that they're that they are 17559 compatible. If they are not, and what I mean by 17559 is the actual dashboard. If you put a plugin on there that was only supported up to like 17544. Um, you're going to wind up with a mess, okay? I'm just warning you, okay? So be careful about the plugins that you put in on Dash Launch, all right? So, my friend, Baron, thank you so much for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. I'm glad I can build it for you. We're going to ship it off this afternoon. You'll have your tracking number and a link to the video on this and a link to the startup setup video as well, okay? Guys, listen, you all have a good one. I'm going to holler at you later. I got a bunch of consoles I got to build. So, I'm off to the races. You all have a good one. Catch you later, guys.